How are you today, sir? I'm doing really well. How about yourself? I'm doing great. Thanks. I'm Allison with Flick Direct. Um, and we are here to talk about the Tomorrow War, which I just saw yesterday. Have you seen it? I have not seen the movie in its entirety. I've seen the uh, like the scenes where they have the F-22, which were, were incredible. And the work the uh, production crew did was awesome. But I haven't seen it entirely yet, in its entirety yet. So we're looking forward to seeing it with the team. Oh, that'll be nice, I'm sure. Um, did you have to do anything differently or how did you switch things around from what you would normally do for filming? We uh, use pretty much everything we, we do in the demonstration. So uh, we, we travel, the team is a you know, total of 14 people and we travel every year to about 25 locations doing air shows. Mm. So we took a lot of the same stuff we do in air shows and just either did it, did it in small segments or repeated the same maneuver over and over again so they could catch the shot they were looking for. Uh, but overall it was, you know, nothing that we, nothing different than we normally execute. It just was, you know, tailored to what they were looking for for the shots. And for the, the shots inside the cockpit, which I know is, you know, normally not allowed. Um, did you feel uncomfortable with that at all? Were you okay with it? Did they tell you, you can do this, you can't do this? Uh, no, it was, it was totally fine. So this is the first time that we ever uh, released GoPro footage from inside the F-22 for, uh, for a Hollywood film. But we, we still release the footage. Uh, we've been doing it for the past two years or so with uh, GoPro cameras. And we release it on our you know, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, uh, YouTube channels for the F-22 demo team. And uh, so people, people have seen that, but it's never been you know, seen on such a large scale like it would be in a Hollywood movie. So that's really cool. And we have a lot of procedures in place in terms of where we mount the camera the angles and all that stuff. So we just kind of stuck to our procedures that we use uh, to ensure the safety of the aircraft and security of the aircraft uh, without sacrificing, you know, the movie and trying to give them as much content as possible. Since you talked about, you know, filming over and over and over again, how long was this process? Was it a few hours? Was it a day? Was it multiple days? Yeah, it took about two days. So we spent um, we spent one day shooting all the ground stuff and, and, and we were there for an air show as well. So it wasn't like we we're just okay. there to do this specifically. So we had a lot of other things we we're doing uh, at the same time. We probably spent about 10 to 12 hours uh, on one day doing ground stuff. So taxiing around, having a, a team of our you know amazing maintainers launching us out and doing like, you know, basically simulating like they'd be launching us out for a combat mission. Um, so we spent a day doing that. And then we also spent a day of uh, an afternoon, essentially, of just flying uh, up and down the beach and getting the shots they wanted, which was really cool. Very nice. Yeah, there were some fantastic shots, I have to say. So it was really impressive. Uh, for you and all your experiences, not just this one, what has been your favorite and what has been the most terrifying? experiences in internet in the air force or flying yes. or my okay any um, all whatever you want to talk about <laughs> yeah I, I would say the you know probably the most uh rewarding or the most uh memorable event for me flying airplanes was just you know any any chance i can i can get to a place where my family can see me fly so um we were at an air show in, in lakeland florida this past year <laughs> and a lot of my family had never seen me fly so i was able to bring them out to the show and and it was the first time, you know, it's just, it's funny because they think it's a joke, you know, like, oh, you fly this airplane tree, do you know, and actually get to see me fly. <laughs> um, so any, anytime they can see me fly and I can show them what I do for a living is really cool. Like we talked about with the cameras, it's hard to show everything that I do for a living because of security reasons and all those things. Right. So when they can see, you know, a little piece of what I do for a living, it's cool. And, and uh, they enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. So getting to share that with them is really cool. Um, and I'd say probably the most terrifying was, uh, you know, like, any any catastrophic you know airplane malfunction obviously is not great so uh, i've had i've had a couple of those and uh the, the good thing is you have amazing training and and um and the instructors that teach you as you grow up and, and learn uh, the aircraft you rely upon that training and that experience and, and gets you through those those scenarios but uh you know it's, people always ask they hey do the airplanes break I'm like yeah they break you know they're you know you're <laughs> Your Toyota Camry versus your F1 race car, completely different machines. This this airplane is kind of like your F1 race car, where it's incredibly high performance, but it's it's obviously we're pushing it to the limits all the time. And is this your favorite aircraft to fly? I, I think in terms of military aircraft, it is. Um, I started flying F-15 in terms of, my, in terms of fighter aircraft first, and then I uh, went to the F-22 back in 2014. And the reason I like this airplane so much is that uh, this is the airplane that I deployed to the Middle East and actually employed. 
uh, you know, spent a lot of time doing combat sorties and supporting our, you know, fellow Americans and fellow, you know, uh, partner nations on the ground. So that to me is, is always going to be a time that I look at and look back upon uh, fondly because it, it was very impactful for me as a person uh, and also had an impact, a profound impact, on, you know, on the people on the ground as well. So very thankful for that. And, and for that reason, I think this airplane will always have kind of a place in my heart for, you know, uh, it's probably the best airplane I've, that I've flown. So when you were back in the Air Force Academy, you know, and a cadet, did you ever think you would become a movie star? <laughs> uh, I, I mean, I don't, I don't think I'm a movie star, honestly, you know, I think that uh, I kind of look at it as like, you know, the team, uh, the, the team is what makes this whole thing happen. So we had some, some shots of the ground crew launching us out mm -hmm. and those are the same people we travel with. So I, I couldn't do any of this stuff that I do without them. They're incredible humans. And I get, I get the privilege of traveling with them uh, throughout the years uh, to air shows, which is awesome. And, um, you know, I think just the scenes of the movie are a direct reflection of, of the teamwork that goes into putting these airplanes in the sky. So me flying is a, just a direct result of them working on the airplanes. Uh, and yeah, I get to fly them. It's, it's a really cool, glitzy aspect of it. Uh, <laughs> but it's just a representation of the hard work they put in. Have any of them, like, jokingly ribbed you a little bit about you know your your movie your movie uh role here uh some of the people that i call friends i guess give me a hard time but <laughs> <laughs> it's to be expected you know yeah, that's absolutely. What happens. If, if they don't give me a hard time they're not real friends right not, exactly not that's what i tell people all the time if i didn't like you i wouldn't make fun of you so exactly. there you go anyway um I, I enjoyed the movie quite a bit and I loved the scenes um, both in the cockpit and what we were able to see with your, your stunt work and everything. So thank you so much. Thank you for your service, your continued service. And uh, I hope you get to see the movie soon because it was enjoyable. Absolutely. Awesome. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. Thank you for your time. Take care. Bye.